White Mountains. And it is May 14th. Very yucky here. Hi, this is Bev for Adventure Seeking. I'm heading out for another hike. This time I'm in the not infested White Mountains, heading up to Mount Bald South right now, but I might be doing north. It depends on my time. But yes, bugs like me. So I have to wear this really weird bug net. Check this out. Woo! Yeah, I'd be scared of me too. <laughs> anyway, figured I would just show my face so you know what I, what I look like. But, we'll see what happens. This is out in Bartlett, New Hampshire. And, uh, if it's like this, hiking, that would be good because <laughs> we could avoid ticks. <laughs> that would be sweet. Anyway, if I see anything good, I'll let you know. Uh, probably water sources and stuff I'll show you because I think that's neat. But, I think this is good. It'll be good. Just an awful lot of hiking. And apparently, if anybody knows what I should eat to avoid gnats, uh, that I could be a repellent, that would be great. I have 100 D on right now and they still like me. Suckers must be heavy, must be hungry. Anyway, I just saw one person come up here maybe about a half an hour ago. Been chilling out, drinking coffee in my car. Which I need to give you a uh, tour of, maybe uh, tonight. But if I see anything else, I'll uh, bring you back. I'm about two miles in, looking at the weather over here. Over here, ooh, not looking good. Look at that scary weather over there. Yikes. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to run into it or not, but we're not supposed to think about that, are we? It's a little breezy, which is good. A little rainstorm will help me. Check out all those stupid bugs. Ooh, yucky. Mm. Let's go a little while longer and see what happens. Hey there, it looks like I'm gonna abort my mission because I've gone two and a half miles and it's just too hot and buggy right now. Like lots of bugs. So there's no reason for me to be out here. It isn't like uh, I'm doing a through hike, but check this out. It's like a little arrow. So uh, I'll probably come back in the fall when there's no bugs. I'm not a big fan of these bugs. I hate them. Ugh. But. I'm gonna go back to my uh, SUV and maybe we can find a free spot and we'll be able to give you a tour. But yeah, I'm just hanging. I'm gonna go back, cause, what's the word? I'm just not into it. So I'm just not into it right now. Had a late night, might even go uh, have a sandwich, have some lunch, go back. I'm thinking food, yeah. So I'll find something uh, with a view. I'll have some lunch. And I don't know, we'll bring you back when we get to lunch. When we get back to the car. It's kind of a cool place where I am. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Yep, I look silly again. Uh, lots of bugs. And uh, wouldn't you believe it? The, uh, as soon as I turn around, and started walking the other way. About 10 minutes later, it started not raining, but I could hear raindrops all around me. I've maybe gotten hit by two. I'm still two miles in right now. Look at this. I love that picture. But yeah, I'm still two miles in. But we're doing great. Um, 
I hurt my knee about a week ago, so I didn't want to push it too much. So a nice flat trail, flat-ish trail, um, is great for my knee to this today. I found a pretty cool place near a lake. It's out of a lake. It's kind of a swamp lake, <laughs> but uh, found a cool place where we can uh, have lunch. So we'll probably end up going there. I don't have to cook lunch, so all is good. I don't think I brought anything I'm sp I need to cook. I mean, I have stuff I'm supposed to warm up, but I don't need to cook it. But I just wanted to say, since I was pushing it by uh, not packing my rain gear by accident, and the inevitable has happened, but The rain isn't as often as it was a second ago. But I'll just keep hoofing it back to my car. Just uh, wanted you to let you know of that. Don't push your luck when hiking. <laughs> Looks like I found a camp spot here. There's my SUV with its veils. It's kind of like a bug net. Uh, it's okay, it works. It keeps off the bugs and I can keep the tail open and uh, They'll, uh, it keeps the breeze for now so I can get at stuff while I'm cooking. I just wanted to show you I have my setup here. I uh, made some rice and broccoli and chicken on the little stove. I'll show how it works uh, for dinner. How's that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is pretty much my setup. I I use these things, uh, they're magnets and clips. It's pretty much an office supply, but I use it to clip the veil on the SUV. I'll just come and show you. So, it won't go anywhere. So, there it is. And I have uh, some on the other side as well. But, I mean, this isn't for... I mean, I wouldn't even sleep with this, but this is pretty much so there's ventilation in the, uh, in the SUV. It's pretty cool. I also, because I can sit out here, uh, because I can sit out here and do this sort of stuff, is because I still have... I still have bug spray on from the hike. And I also have this thermocell big fan of it it uh you turn it on and uh it kind of gives you uh, a 20 foot radius uh dome although i see a lot of bugs right now but again i i think the only thing that's saving me from the real hungry ones is uh, is the 100 deet that i put on for the hike i tell you the bugs really like me i have to wear 100 I have to get some for my through hike. I have to remember that. I see something on the lens. <laughs> Probably doesn't make it any better. So yeah, for the through hike, I probably, I definitely have to get the 100s. I'm all sweaty and nasty. Oh, I'll wash up in a bit, but I was hungry, so it's time to eat, as I said, and the thunder is still happening. If you can hear it, you might be able to, you might not be able to. Either way, I'm just happy to have a spot, and it's pretty much for, for an SUV or a camper or a van because there's no flat spot for a, um, a tent here at all. You could also hammock, so let me try that. I'm going to put up my... Uh, bug net hammock so I can try it out. It would be kind of cool. I have it somewhere. I'm not sure where it is, but it's cool. Well, I'm going to enjoy dinner. This is what you do when it rains and you're camping in your SUV.
I'm always looking for a place where uh, you can go in the White Mountains and uh, there not be other people. <laughs> I think I found my place of solace. Uh, it's a forest road and uh, I'm not letting you in on it. <laughs> Look at this. Nobody. I don't even think anybody's even driven on this road. I mean, they have, but I mean, like. <laughs> I just went by a place where I can park. Not so much camp. But who wants to camp anyway? I'm just looking for a place to chill out and watch uh, for moose. Uh, yeah, I think I found it. Ooh, I'm not going to tell you this secret spot. Hi, it's me again. I didn't go home, I thought I was. But as I rub off the yuckiness of the last campsite I had and the downpour and how everything got soaked, I uh, decided to take a detour on the way home tonight. And look what I found. I don't want to get excited, but this is the mother load. <laughs> You're up, you've got ridge, you have um, a little bit of a view right over here. Uh, you can see weather coming in, and I don't know. There's some woods, some woods over here, but there's lots of bugs. If you were to see the camera right now, <laughs> It would, it's swarming. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's winds and I already cleaned up. So I'm not putting bug juice on again. So if I have to stay inside the car here, I don't mind. I think I'll stay here tonight. And if I get thrown out, just go home. <laughs> not a big deal, right? <laughs> it's like the catch 22. They're like, oh, you can't stay here tonight. Okay, I'll just go home to my mountain house. Or my house in the mountains. What a bummer. Anyway, living in New Hampshire is awesome. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> anyway, I'll, uh, if something comes up, um, maybe an animal or something comes out of the woods, I will get it on video. These bugs are killing me. <laughs>